Hi Stampers, this is Travis. Welcome to Video Friday. And so for the whole month of November, we're going to be making Christmas cards. And so today we're going to make two Christmas cards. We're going to be using the Memories and More Berry Christmas card pack, which is sold on page 23 in the mini catalog. These are a great value. $10, you get 18 four by six cards, you get 36 three by four cards and 68 stickers. So super easy way to make your Christmas cards and they are so cute and really a great value. So let's get started today. I'm going to be making um, two cards and I'll show you my ideas. All right. So um, I'm going to be using white card bases and these are four and a quarter by eight and a half. So out of one card, uh, piece of card stock, I can actually get both of these with just a little overage. So I did score these once. So this is four and a quarter by eight and a half. I did score this once at three. Um, three. Yeah, three. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fold this one first. I can might as well fold them both at the same time since I'm going to make two cards. Okay. And then the, um, I should show you some of these darling cards. Okay, so they are dual-sided. So you have uh, sentiments on one side, and then the other side, super cute. And then this one, oops, that's the same one. This one has snowflakes. Christmas is better together with the polar bears. Okay, so you get um, 18 of those, and then you get 36 of the small cards. And those are these. So you get six of each design. Okay, so I already picked out the ones I'm gonna use today. And then I set, like I said, the stickers, you get 68 stickers. So you get two sheets of each. Okay, so let's start. And I actually store them in these, um, these clear packages that our dies come in. I put the dies in, um, the um, plastic cases and then I put some magnet in there so these I have left over I just go ahead and they're perfect for this they slide right in here I tear that I keep this that's off the packaging I slide these in they fit in here perfectly and then they don't get the ends don't get squished or anything so it's really nice okay so the first thing I want to do is I want to show you that I did choose this one Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to this white piece. So this is three by four. So this is three and a quarter by four and a quarter, just a quarter inch bigger around. Okay, so we have that one. And then this one I chose. Okay, and I could just do it this way. But I decided to do something just a little bit different. I'm going to just trim this out, just fussy cut this. Just like this. Very simply and quickly. Nothing too fancy about it. If you know me, you know I like to fussy cut. And I'm thinking, I don't want to, I really don't know if I want all that red around because I'm going to use some colored cardstock, so. Okay, so I have that. And I have this piece, right? But I can cut this down now. I don't need it this big. So I'm gonna cut this down to about, let's see how big I should cut this. I'm gonna cut this white piece down to about three and three fourths by about, Two and seven eight. Two and seven eighths. Okay. Liking that. Okay. Now I'm wondering, does it need a little sponging? Hmm. I think it might. Might need just a little bit of sponging. So I'm gonna get my red blending brush and my red stamp pad. And do a little blending on here. Just around the edges. very lightly. Yeah, I think I like that better. It just looks so stark white. Okay, I might pop that up with some dimensionals. Hmm. 
I'm not going to put a whole bunch on there. Maybe four. Yep. That'll be perfect. So I'm going to pop that up with my dimensionals. Okay, so I have that ready to go. Okay, now, what do I want to do with this? Okay, I have to decide. Um, I have these, right? Okay, so these are for my two cards. And I think this one is going to go on here. So, which one did I say I was going to do? I think I'm going to do... Hmm, I can't remember. I had something in my head, but now I can't remember. Well, I think that might look pretty cute. So let's do this one. Yep. Okay, so I need, this is three by four. I just need to cut this down just a smidge. So I'm going to cut this down to um, two and seven eighths. And I'm going to cut this one down to two and seven eighths. Okay, and so the reason is that I'll have a nice border when I do my card. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to adhere this to my card front. And the trees, there are trees on here, so get those going the right way. You don't want your trees upside down. Then I have my red um, Distress Tile cardstock. So I'm going to put some glue on here, liquid glue. I'm using my green glue because it is textured and this will help it hold it nicely. Oh my gosh. That is, yeah, I think that works. I was going to say, did I make that too big? Do I want a border? Oh, that might be nice. I think I might leave a little edge. Okay, looking good. Now I can put this on the front. Boy, I should have cut that down just a smidge more, maybe. What do you think? Nah. Nah. Put some adhesive on here. Don't overthink it like I am. Right? Okay. Now, I have some ribbon and I have this ribbon. So this is the black and very vanilla that is the gingham that is in the mini catalog. It's a little bit wider than the other gingham, but you can still color it. And so I'm going to use my Old Olive Dark Blend. Ooh, that's really dark. I think it'll lighten up as it dries. So when you're using your blends, make sure you put the lid, when you put the lid on, man, I'm like, is that the right color for this or should I use that on this one? Let's use it on that one. <laughs> let's use it on that one and let's use the red on this one. Yeah. So this is the tiny red ribbon that's sold in the annual catalog. Okay, so the trick with ribbon is, is that you can move it around and all you have to do is kind of bend your card and you can scoot this around anywhere you want it. Maybe, there you go. Cute, trim this just down a little bit. Okay, now I need to put something on the inside and that's where the stickers come in. So I already says good tidings and warm wishes. So what do I want to put on the inside? Um, I don't want to put warm wishes again, right? So I am going to choose something else. And I'm thinking a Christmas tree. Yes, that is so cute. Christmas tree and hmm. How about a little present? Because little presents under the Christmas tree are so cute. Let's do another present. One present under the tree isn't enough. Let's do two. OK, 
Okay, I like it. I think that's perfect. I don't think I need to do anything else there. Okay, let's work on the second card. So again, I have that same card base. So this is eight and a half by, um, eight and a half by four and a quarter. And I have my, my Memories and More card that I already cut down. So I cut just a smidge off now so it fits nicely. Okay, so I'm gonna put this right up to the edge. Okay, ooh, I hope that's, yeah, that might be upside down. Yeah, I think it's, well, it is upside down, but that's okay. We're gonna roll with it. Again, I'm gonna use my green glue here on this distressed tile piece. Now I can use my ribbon. Mm -hmm. If I have enough, I might need to put a little more color on here. See how much that lightened up? When it dried. over right, right over left. Super cute. Yeah, I think the old olive looks better on this card. Okay, and now I have this piece. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh, that is so cute. Okay, now I need, I could use some red. I could use be cozy. Okay, I need to think here. What looks better? Do I want to do the polar bears? Hmm. May your Christmas be cozy, cozy, cozy. I'm thinking for this one. I might use this green strip right here and then on the inside I think I'm thinking with love okay okay there are my two cards so this is the first one I made. And then this one. And here's another one that I made. I really like this one too. I used uh, that inside. A Merry Christmas inside, like a little tag. Okay, so I have three Christmas cards done. Super simple. Hope you enjoyed this video today. I'll see you on Tuesday. And we'll be making more Christmas cards. And uh, my name is Travis Bossler. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in St. Louis, Missouri. And I appreciate you watching my videos and giving me a, head, a thumbs up. Thanks so much. Bye.